What's going on? It's been a while since I talked about one of these movies, but since Shark Week happened, might as well talk about a shark movie. So today we're going to be looking at a beat movie, shark movie from the early 2000s. Today we're going to be talking about Raging Sharks, released by New Image Entertainment, February 1st, 2005. Stars Korea Nemec. It was written and produced by Les Weldon and produced... Written and produced by Les Weldon, and produced and directed by Danny Lerner, who has also done a, some, a lot of other B movies, such as uh, Find, Finding Rin Tin Tin, Shark in Venice, which I actually have a review for that coming up soon, uh, Direct Contact, and Shark Zone. I'm going to have a review for that coming up soon, too, so get ready for those. So, yeah. Raging Sharks is quite the interesting premise. I love the way this film starts off. It's way different than any other shark movies. It starts off with aliens. You're in an outer space in an alien sector and they drop this like weird mysterious goo which is almost like plutonium and stuff into the ocean. It just so happens to fall where some scientists are studying shark behavior and there's also uh, the naval the Navy and uh, the government uh, trying to cover things up that, because they know what's there. And the plutonium stuff kind of interacts with the sharks and makes them go on a ravage killing spree. Sort of like steroid infused sharks. This film is sort of like Deep Blue Sea meets Deep Star 6 is the best way I can describe this. Um, it came out around the same time as Deep Blue Sea and uh, yeah. And it's made by the people who made the Shark Attack films. <laughs> Those so bad they're good movies. Uh, which I'll probably be talking about in the future at some point. But yeah, so it's up to the scientists to figure out what's going on and how to overcome the sh raging sharks and take care and try to settle the score with the government and these mysterious, um, mysterious company trying to keep it under wraps so yeah it's a stereotypical sci-fi sort of channel film uh, a lot of interesting good but good shark stock footage in this a lot of it, cool shots from sharks attacking and things like that there is some cool puppetry in miniatures and ex like action sequences and stuff which i actually enjoyed that i kind of missed that now this is not one of your cg heavy uh, sci-fi channel type movies this one actually has kind of went the more different route with a little bit of stock footage and miniatures and stuff like that and the acting is not that bad um as well definitely see way worse in this uh sub -genre of types of films um yeah so they kind of handled this one okay i find new image kind of knew they were making a bad movie but they wanted to make a good bad movie and that's what they set out to be and uh for the most part it was amusing uh to say the least the only thing is with this it's called raging sharks and you only get to see raging sharks for about the first half of the film and the rest is raging humans being humans and uh trying to settle controversies and stuff which is kind of point like good for story wise but if you emphasized raging sharks you kind of have to focus on those and they kind of in the second half kind of deviate from that and try to put man tra trying to trying to control the situation and stuff like that which kind of gets redundant and dumb because that's the way all movies nowadays go so this one's definitely gonna get lost in the shuffle uh it starts off strong but definitely does not pack the full punch or do anything interesting with the concept it kind of just goes your typical underwater fiasco almost like the abyss type route and uh yeah there's nothing really to gain from it um and the raging sharks just randomly disappear halfway through the film which was disappointing um yeah so i found the second half pretty boring to say the least uh, Raging Sharks is definitely, it was interesting, a lot of cool 
good scenes, like people getting attacked and stuff. There's really funny scenes in there, too. Like a reporter seeing a shark fin 10 feet in front of her, but she has to look through her camera lens to see it. <laughs> and stuff like that. A lot of stupid things. And then she gets her arm bit off. Yeah, so there's a lot of cheesy stuff like that. That was pretty amusing and stuff. I had a really strong first half, and then the second half, it kind of just dissipated and became boring, stereotypical TV movie garbage. So... Yeah, that's basically all I have to say about this film. It's nothing too outstanding, um, but it's run-of-the-mill, middle ground, play-it-safe type deal. Um, it has a cool little interesting premise, a little premise that's out there, but then they don't do anything with it, so it's kind of pointless to, to do it. I'm on the fence of recommending it, but I'm going to give this one a 2.5 two out of 5. Um, just because I did like the concept in the first half, but yeah, the second half kind of deviates and just gets boring. So there's not much else to really say. Raging Sharks is definitely one that's probably going to go off and fade from history and stuff. But it's a good little look back, and I kind of miss films that do that instead of having all these CG fest monster creature features and stuff. Put a little snack budget in there, make it look a really more realistic or more cheesy but more fun so yeah there's a trailer for it linked down below and also my instagram is always linked down below there are post clips of films i'm going to review in the future on my story so make sure you follow me there we should add the film title and a hashtag and i also put the subgenre of films in there so in case something you don't like or not interested dude and you're aware of it so make sure you follow me on instagram stay in the loop uh yeah comment your opinions of raging sharks down below if you've seen it and comment to other crappy shark movies I should check out that you actually think are good and you want to hear my opinions on, comment those down below. Or if you have any other films that you want to hear my opinions on, comment those down below too. I'll try my hardest to get to them as soon as, as soon as I can and if I can find them. And uh, yeah, make sure you like this video, share it some more people who are and check out these actually somewhat amusing shark movies that have all these like crappy sci-fi channel junk that's getting pumped out year after year and maybe we could actually have a fun shark week for once uh, yeah so yep so make sure you like and share make sure you subscribe because i'm going to be talking about a lot more of these and hopefully we can find some interesting cool b movies and other good movies uh that you probably never heard, thought of checking out together so but for now that's all i have to say about this it's a basic movie anyways uh watch out for those sh uh, random alien serum and a few sharks when you go swimming out in the ocean next and I guess I'll see you all in the next review so cheers <laughs>